Back in August, a very powerful amphibious U.S. attack force was sent to take over Guadalcanal Airfield and the surrounding occupied islands. After two days, the Guadalcanal Airfield, named by the U.S. Marines Henderson Field, was under our control. During that month, the Japanese made two attempts to take over Henderson Field, but they failed, being stopped by the U.S. Marines. In the following period, the Japanese made an attempt to land more troops, but they were blocked by our carrier force in a naval battle in the Eastern Solomons, where the Japanese lost a carrier and a destroyer for no U.S. losses. The next month, in September, another two attacks were stopped by the U.S. Marines, with the help of 4,000 Marine reinforcements, which had landed despite the opposition of the Japanese Navy, which did manage to sink one carrier and one destroyer from the U.S. convoy. During October, both sides brought in reinforcements, and in the process, two naval battles were fought, one off Cape Esperance and one off Santa Cruz Islands. Later, another two Japanese attempts of taking the Henderson Field took place, and again, they failed. Last month, another two-day naval battle took place in the slot between the U.S. Navy and the Japanese Navy, who were trying to resupply their troops in Guadalcanal. This battle resulted in many casualties, and many ships damaged or sunk from both sides our greatest trophy being one Japanese battlecruiser sunk. As an overall result, the U.S. Navy succeeded in stopping the enemy in delivering the supplies and the reinforcements to Guadalcanal. This should facilitate our U.S. Marines' mission in taking over the entire island and gaining air control in the Solomons.